a kids rating, we're going to be starting a channel that's called Kids Rating, all about rating things as we go. Um, my name's Sienna. And my maid, Bella. I am 10 years old. And I am 6. And she's almost 7. Um, so today we're here at Port Lim in Lion Lodge and we're really excited. We've been here before but it's our first time staying over in the Lion Lodge and we're really excited. So the lions are behind us. Um, you can't see them really now but you will be able to see them later. So they are behind the twigs but once they go to bed in that shelter then you'll be able to get a better view of them. But it's really nice and cosy and warm in here. We've got lovely beds and everything, so. Okay guys, this is inside Lion Lodge. There's a really nice lounge and a chair to overlook the lions when they come out. And in here we have a really big, nice mo um, bathroom with modern features. Okay guys, we're gonna go upstairs nice. and see what it's like. Oh wow. Why? Really big up here. Like there's so much room. And the bed. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so comfy. Like literally. I love this bed. I bet I'm gonna I hope Bella doesn't mind because I'm gonna be sleeping on this one. But and then here we have our own little view oh, of the lions. So at night we can see them. But you can't really see them now um, as much but we'll be able to see them at night because that's where they sleep in that little shelter so let's go in but yeah so this is the upstairs and it's really big so bigger than i thought so we're gonna have lots of fun i like um this room because this but it's so comforting actually. This is pretty a nice lamp. And like you can see lots of lions come out when you um when you're awake. He says are good for stringing on like a monkey. <laughs> Alright, how many on to the stairs? Hi, there's lots of animals in Port Lim. Like there's cheetahs and leopards. Yeah, so there are lots of different animals. Uh, um, we're staying in like the lion enclosure, so there's lots of lions um, here. There are two um, boys at the moment right now, but there are tons of other animals, just like Bella said, like gorillas, monkeys, and you get to see them every single day, and it's really fun. Um, there are lots of like places to eat as well. So there's like three different restaurants to which do like um, different food at each one. Um, and also there's lots of parks and like lots of adventurous things there. And like there's lots of parks, there's lots of animals that you can see in the, this lion cage right here. In Lion Lodge, there's lots of snacks here. What is that? There's there's popcorn. There's sort of caramel also popcorn. Like these crisps. What crisps are they? So we've got like cheese and onion, and then what's over here in this red box? So let's see. We've got these mini little hot chocolate sachets, water biscuits. And, and also <coughs> said coffee pods. Yeah, coffee pods. So, yeah. lots of treats, isn't there? <laughs> there are lots of drinks here too. There's lots of cups. Um, yeah, and like for the adults, power. yeah, have cups. And then for the adults, they have yeah. champagne. So, yeah, yeah, they're happy. Hi guys, I'm right next to the lion. So just come over. Hello. Hi. They're so cute. Hi. These are the only two in the enclosure and they're adorable. They're both boys. So. This is so cool.
Amazing. Right here I'm spraying this perfume because they can smell it from really far away and the more expensive the perfume um, the more pheromones it will have and the more they can smell it so if I spray this hopefully they'll come really close and they'll go like crazy for it okay there it is I think because they're really far away they might not be able to smell it yet but Okay, so these lions um, have lots of sisters and they're both brothers, so that's why they like being in the same enclosure. There are lots of different enclosures for them to be in, but they just moved up because they're at the age of two. So they got split up from their family now, but they're happy because they're the only ones in here and they've got a huge enclosure. This one just like um, lay down and it was just like yawning um, and it's really cute to see. It's amazing that you can get this close to the lines here at Portland because you'd probably never be able to do that anywhere else in the world like at a zoo because um, yeah they're so they're, they're so friendly the lines here um, so they'll come right up to the fence. Okay guys we're in the restaurant well, one of the restaurants um, and I'm eating spaghetti bolognese and it's really good and I tried to my mum's of my mum's pizza and it's really good too. Um, it took a long while to get here because it's the other, it's the opposite side of the park. So we took the buggy here because we get two buggies with our room. Um, so my grandpa got one and um, we got one as a family. So we drove it down here, it took about 10 minutes. Um, but the food here is really good and I'm really excited to get um, my ice cream for, because the pudding looks delicious. It's honeycomb ice cream and brownie or like fruit. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. This is a restaurant called Baby Dolls. And for starter, I had garlic bread. And then for main, I had spaghetti bolognese. And for pudding, I'm having chocolate brownie and honeycomb ice cream. And the honeycomb sounds really nice. Because it's like honey, but with a cone. So like a honey cone. I'm going to normal. Let's see where we are. Kitty! Oh. That scared me. I was not expecting that, I tell you. Oh no. Oh my god. That is scary. <laughs> I told you yeah. they come. I told you they'd come at night. Go and sit next to them. Oh no, I'm scared. Where are they going? Hi guys, it's day two of being at Portland. We're really excited. We had a really good night's sleep and today we've got a safari later. But now we're going to be eating the garden room, what's my favourite place to eat breakfast? It's the best um, restaurant here, I think, because we love the food here. It's just really tasty. So we're going to go and sit down. This is called the garden room, I think, because there's lots of flowers and it's really pretty with the displays and everything. And so we love it. This is why I choose apple juice. Because every time I drink it, it just tastes like normal apple juice. Okay, guys, I just finished my pancake and they were really good. We also ordered some berry tea and it's so nice. What are you eating, Bella? I'm eating pancakes, maple syrup. This is why we love the food here so much. It's really nice and it's really well set out. Hey guys, we're about to feed rhinos and giraffes. I'm really excited. You actually get to hand feed them and see tons of other animals too. So it's going to be super fun. Guys, this is one of the white rhinos. She's really cute. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Let's 
Still slow. Open their mouth. And I'll take it from you. It's that easy. Sally, have you got this? Yes, she's can. Just a little bit. Nice leafy bit. What's it like, Bella? Right, who's next? Me. <laughs> just be uh, mindful of if Solio shows up, just be careful of where she is. Yeah. Right, who's next? Yummy. Sienna, what's it like? It's so fun. They celebrate as well. Branches, <laughs> there's like small, um, yeah. uh, small sticks basically with leaves on. Um, so normally we do that, but this time of year we can't do that. Yeah. Tell me all about her. What's she like? Um, she was. She is quite hungry, actually. She is quite hungry, isn't she? It's really fun. She's really gentle. She doesn't That's bite or anything. She like these this time. These will just be chunky a bit, so yeah, she'll appreciate nice. it a bit more, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she doesn't these days. Um, Melinda's kind of got the monopoly on feeding, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> <A bit. laughs> I like the Yeah. Yeah. Alright, next? Kilo. So 1.1 tons. So she, so Sammy's a big boy. And they're having a little chase. So yeah, okay, we've fed the rhinos. We're going to go and feed the giraffes now. And we get to go um, and see all the other animals that live in the wild. And we get to go up really close to them, don't we? Yeah, let's go. What were you excited to see the most? Um, the red pandas. Red and pandas. The giraffes and the leopards. Yeah. It'll be exciting to feed the giraffes, so we're really excited. Yeah. We'll see you then. I thought you might want to know that this is called a triple eight safari, and you get um, you have to pay extra though to feed the rhinos and the giraffes, but it's probably worth it because it's so much fun. Here we have some gorillas. There are two of them out at the moment, but there are some more in the cage. We've just come across them, and they're really cute and friendly. Rotate Gorillas and go in there, or is that the spe spe specific lots of ones? Different so the and lots of okay. different kinds of vegetables. And also, they can, um, right here, they have a course what they could go on um, if they wanted to do gymnastics or something. So, the. That gorilla is not even moving. Some that man gorillas don't really move that much because I think like because that one is very old. That I mean. Okay, guys, we're really up close to a zebra. It's really cute. It's just eating hay at the moment. It's really nice. So this is our male zebra. He's called Cumin. Um, he's on his own. We have three other girls. Um, he's on his own because the girls don't like him. <laughs> he comes in a bit too strong, so they find that very off putting. So they leave him alone. I missed the dogs. The dogs, by the way, are very aggressive animals. Yeah, a lot of people don't like them. Okay, we, we're on our way to feed the giraffe, but now we've just come across a really cute zebra that was so adorable. We're seeing some ostriches. 
Um, also, there are a few lodges around here, as you can see, there's um, a really big lodge that's like um, a uh, giraffe lodge. So, because the giraffes come around here in the summer, so that's um, open if you want to come and see the giraffe um, and stay there. Um, um, there are more lodges here. Um, there are also like safari lodges. Some of them are being built though, so they're not ready yet. Is and what and it's quite heavy, so I wouldn't want to have it on my head. But it's really smooth, um, and yeah, it's really big. So it's quite, they're not quite sharp though the horns, so it wouldn't really hurt. But it's really fun to hold. Now we're gonna see giraffes, and this is gonna be my favorite bit because even though I love feeding the rhinos, I like. I love feeding the giraffes too because they're really tall and it's really um, like satisfying to watch them eat and um, it's really fun to play. So this is Valentino. You guys can come down to the radiator if you'd like. It's nice and warm, you need up against it if you really want. Teenies! Teeny! Yeah, I'm about to feed it. It's so tiny compared to me. It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Might need to lift you up on the third little one. Why? We might not be able to reach you that far down. <laughs> Ew, I got slime. <laughs> Keep feeding him. Keep feeding him all. Go away. There <laughs> You can get physically closer uh, if you would think it would be easier. You don't have to stand right in the There we are. Oh no, it went on your head. The slime went over your hair. No, you don't, you don't get the same sense of perspective that you do in the woods. Did you know giraffes only live um, sleep for two hours a day? Because um, most of the time they're like outside and running about. Um, and also, they don't have four legs. We just call them legs because they walk on them. But two of them are actually arms. Like, we have two arms and we have two legs. So they have two arms and they have two legs. So. That's a fun fact if you didn't know it. I don't think these, those guys are going to feed because yeah. they seem to be pursuing a bit. Oh no, it's not. Sorry, that's uh, Luna, not Wessie. It looks like they might be dead. Um, yes, that's Luna, that's one of their mothers. Okay, guys, we're right in front of the tigers. He literally just came up, and here he is. He's coming. Um, so they actually come from uh, they're, they're on their way aren't they oh here he comes Bella. this is it oh my gosh it's really cute there are two of them in here um, and they've just been um, fed so um, sometimes they hang up high so they're empty to get them to like jump up and use it one of the great things about being at Portland is you can get really close to the animals and they won't really hurt you because they're like trained. And you can take my photo of them when you get a good view of them. And also, this tiger is quite easy. Uh, he very fluffy because me and Dad showed me yesterday. And he's actually pretty good to me. Now we're going to go on a super cool buggy ride with my dad to see what it's like to ride in this awesome buggy. Down here there's an amazing dinosaur trail. Look, it's a dino. And we went here before and it was so fun when we went here. Yeah, it's just like a scavenger hunt. You have to find the dinosaurs and you can identify which one it is. And, um, but the, you also learn lots of facts about dinosaurs and how they walked um, in the past. Again. That's the restaurant that we ate in last night called Baby Dolls and it's right next to some of the um, animals enclosures so it's really nice that you can hear them like roar whilst you're eating. There's a little playground here for kids.
gonna be so fun. Yeah, this is so fun. On the way down to the main service, we're gonna go past a few animals, so we'll see. It. We'll t show you them if, um, to you if we can see them. We have to open the gate to um to get into our lodge because nobody else is allowed to come here um into the leopard enclosure um and set foot on leopard creek unless they're staying here so it's kind of cool that we get our own land but we have to sh close and open the gate now and then. okay i'll close it okay i'm just gonna go and close it okay so this is you close it Okay, we've just shut the gate so nobody can get in that's not allowed to be um, in Lapid Creek. So we're actually going now. The, bro um, the like buggy paths aren't that bumpy either, so it's quite smooth. So you won't get um, like sick if you get troublesome or anything, but it's just really fun to ride. You get lots of fresh air blowing in your face, so it's a nice time to enjoy the sun. Yeah, that's um, my thing. And it's not that cold really. And if it rains, there's a roof on top of the bun buggy so you don't get wet. But it's really fun. This is the lima cage. They've got such an awful, um, awesome cage. It's just like monkeys. They swing so much. They love it and it must be really fun. I've got three facts for you about lemurs. The first one is that their tail is as long as their bodies. The second one is they live in Madagascar, which is like the only place that you can find them. And the third one is they eat fruit every day. Yeah, they love fruit. It's like their favourite thing. But they put it in little, like, they like put it up high or like in a snack, like cage. So they've got a time to put it and it's good for their health. So, there's one. He must love the climbing frame. Let's jump back on the buggy. Let's go! Woo, woo. Okay guys, we're back at Leopard Creek. That was an awesome buggy ride. We really enjoyed it. Now we're gonna open the gate. And we're staying at, we're staying over here for one night, and it's amazing here. Yeah, it's really fun here. There's the leopard enclosure over there, um, and at night you get to see the leopards. So there are two um, wigwams and four, uh, no, five little lodges, which are a bit smaller than the wigwams, but children can also stay there too because they're big enough for a whole family. Um, there's a really nice view over here and you can watch um, the sunset and sunrise in the morning and, and at night so it's really fun to do that. Let's go and check out our wigwam. Come on! Let's go! So now we're going to go inside. This is the wigwam and we're going to show you around. So behind you we have a bathroom and then over here there's this little mini fridge that comes with lots of different drinks. We put um, like ice cream in there ourselves but it comes with lots of different like drinks like apple juice. And then over here like Lion Lodge we have some crisps and popcorn. Uh, this is where we're going to be sleeping. It's really comfortable even though it's quite small. It's really cosy. And then you get a little side table here where you can put your like drinks. And then round here, this is where the master like bed is. And there's this really nice lounger that you can just lie in and like get a sun tan. And it's really warm because of the windows being so um opened up. Um and then we have a TV just on the side here is some little chairs 
that you can just sit on, which are all really comfy. And we love it here, it's really nice. There's a really nice view, so you can see a couple of the animals. Um, like over there, there's um, a like, I don't really know what that is. I think it's like an, oh gosh, like a bite. <laughs> no, not a bite. I don't really know what that animal is, but there's a really nice view and tons of animals. And then there, down there, there's a, there's a fire pit where you can roast marshmallows and it's really fun. And two chairs out there to watch the sunset. So this is my bed and over here is my mum's bed and my dad's. And there's some beautiful lights up the top. And at, there's a lovely view outside. Luckily, it's sunny, not raining. And there, this is my view um, of mum and dad's bedroom. And I love it. Hi, guys. The other thing that... The other thing that's cool about Leopard Creek is it comes with two awesome games that you can play whenever you want with whoever you want and they're completely free. The first thing is Giant Dominoes and the second thing is Giant Jenga which are both really fun to play with your family and you can do it in winter and summer because they're both here whenever you want them and you can play them whenever you want like literally and it's really fun. I love doing it. We're playing giant jenga right now and it's really fun no matter how cold it is it's still really fun to do because it's nice to get fresh air in the winter yeah. when it's not too cold because the weather at portland isn't that bad it's always quite sunny where whenever you come even if it's the winter so well, let's make it the tallest it can be Oh, they're so heavy, the blocks, because yeah. they're really big. So yeah, it's really they're big. giant. <laughs> they're literally so much bigger than je normal je size jingle, but it's easier to put them on. Oh, why? It's about to tip in the glass. Oh, but I'll hold it, you put the blocks on. Okay. Oh, that's okay, just do. Okay, the last yeah, three, do yeah. the last three. Last three. No, from over here. Because that's for another set. Yeah. No. Last one. Come on. Is it gonna? Okay, let's let go. See if it turns up. Yeah? You ready? Oh, is it full? Is it gonna fall? Let go? Let go. Okay. Yes! <laughs> and that's the best thing about this jungle! There's a pond with two ducks in it and it's so cute whenever they swim. But what we're really here to see is the leopards. Let's go! Okay guys, we're at the place we had breakfast at called the garden room for dinner. And it's so good, I'll start off. We've both got Dover's with tomato soil, and I love it. I love it. You should have said, I don't like it. I love it. Okay, guys, we just did some tasting of marshmallows. My grandma bought me marshmallows, and there's a fire like camp bit at the front of our wigwam that both of the wigwams can share and it's really fun to just toast the marshmallows even though it's cold the fire um still keeps going and it hasn't gone out yet and we've had it on for at least like five, 10 five minutes um but um it's heating us up as well being outside because it's not that cold when the fire's on so yeah it's really fun one of the best things I love about Portland is doing this. Hi guys, it's day three and it's the morning, so it's our last day here at Portland. So we wanted to do a buggy ride and we've just come across a really cute bear. There are four in this enclosure. I don't know if you can see all of them, but there's one fast asleep just here. And it looks a bit like me because I've got like a teddy bear outfit on. So it's basically like me, but 
Bear's one of my favorite animals, so I'm really um, excited to see it up there. Oh, it's working. It's so cute. The lion's just being fed, and it's a male lion, it's really pretty. Look how big it is. It's amazing to be this close. Hey, buddy, you're all right. Is that what you're trying to do, get them into there so yeah. that they can feed? Yeah, exactly. So um, while they're still getting comfortable, we just want to get them into the routine of coming into the shuttle so that if we need to go any closer to maintenance or anything else wrong, we can do that. But he'll probably carry it out now. <laughs> do you kind of tend to hide their food and play, play with them as well? Usually, yeah, we'll try and make them work with their food a little bit more. We can hang it up if we need to or scatter it around. Oh, yeah. But just while they set them, we'll just put them on for them a bit more. Hi guys! In each video we're going to be rating everywhere we go and the kids rating score of this place is... Thumb up, please! 9.2 9. out of 10! That's a really good score, we love this place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, um, you can watch more of our videos to find out the awesome places that we go and, and see if you want to, vid um, to visit them. And subscribe to our videos. Bye. Bye.